all our colleagues uh, who have received us so well today. And I'm also particularly glad that our new ambassador, uh, Kent Logsdon, has arrived here uh, in Kisnau, I think, uh, just last month. For us, having confirmed ambassadors in place is vital for our cooperation with countries around the world, and that's especially important now. Um, in the 30 years since Moldova and the United States began diplomatic relations, we've never faced a moment as urgent and as challenging as the one that we face today. Russia's unprovoked, unwarranted war uh, on Ukraine has kicked off uh, a humanitarian crisis that is already having a vast effect across the region, including here in the Republic of Moldova. As of today, uh, as the President said, an estimated 240,000 people from Ukraine have crossed the border into Moldova, fleeing for their lives. They're mostly women and children. Their number will grow. As I told President Sandu, uh, Moldova deserves the world's gratitude for welcoming and protecting Ukrainians. And as the Prime Minister, our President, Foreign Minister, and I discussed today, the United States will do all that we can to help Moldova as it cares for people who've already been through so much. Our administration has requested of Congress $2.75 billion uh, in emergency assistance, humanitarian assistance, both to meet the needs of vulnerable people and communities inside Ukraine, uh, and also to help countries like Moldova supporting refugees uh, and addressing the humanitarian crisis from outside Ukraine. The international community also has a responsibility to help Moldova deal with the impacts of war. Uh, we'll drive that message in our engagement with international organizations and other countries around the world. Russia's invasion of Ukraine is a violation of Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity enshrined in the United Nations Charter. 141 countries at the United Nations stood up for those principles and against Russia's assault on them. The United States wants to make clear our strong support for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all countries, including the Republic of Moldova. Countries have a right to choose their own futures. Moldova has chosen the path of democracy, a more inclusive economy, a closer relationship with the countries and institutions of Europe. The United States supports Moldova in those efforts, grounded in our respect for the neutrality that's enshrined in Moldova's constitution. Our partnership addresses the key challenges of our time, the things that we should be uh, working on and focused on, uh, which is exactly another reason why this war of choice uh, is such a terrible thing. Uh, it takes us away from things that we need to be working on together, but we'll continue to do that. Um, the United States delivered hundreds of thousands of COVID-19 vaccines to Moldova and millions of dollars in pandemic-related uh, assistance. We will invest $18 million over the next years to help strengthen and diversify Moldova's energy sector. Greater energy security is vital for your sovereignty. We support the OSCE-led 5.2 negotiations to find a comprehensive settlement to the Transnistrian conflict that upholds Moldova's sovereignty and territorial integrity with a special status for Transnistria. And we'll seek every opportunity to deepen the ties between our countries, economic ties, educational ties, people-to-people -people ties, uh, because we want our friendship with the people of Moldova to grow even stronger. In the face of the global challenges that we face today, we're all going to be much more successful when we work closely together as partners, especially among democratic partners. We know that countries that respect human rights, uphold the rule of law, support inclusive, accountable governance for all their citizens, produce the best solutions to even the most difficult problems. So we will support Moldova as you pursue your priorities, fighting corruption, driving democratic reform, including increasing integrity and accountability in the public sector and the judiciary, and developing an independent media sector that can deliver reliable information and help fight disinformation. As people around the world stand up to defend democratic values, Moldova is a powerful example of a democracy rising to the moment with vision and with determination. This partnership between us is built on shared interests. It's built on shared values. We're grateful to Moldova for 30 years of friendship. We look forward to the next 30. And on behalf of the American people, thank you again for your generosity toward the Ukrainian refugees at this urgent moment for democracy and for peace. Thank you.
Mulțumim, domnule secretar de stat. Colegi, o să luăm câte două întrebări, două de la presa... Colegi, now we're going to take a two questions from the representatives of the Moldovan press and the United States media. So we start off with the Moldovan media. Radu, uh, also of the public uh, TV, Moldova. I have a question for both Ms. Mayasander and Anthony Blinken. Figures prove that uh, in the first 10 days of the war, uh, Moldova received the biggest amount of refugees from Ukraine. Um, it's, again, uh, by comparison with the population of the Republic of Moldova, it's a huge effort for our country. Uh, what can the international community do in order to directly help out those people and in order to seize the war in Ukraine? We will continue helping out all the people that have to flee from the war. This is indeed a challenge, and this is exactly the reason why we have requested the international uh, assistance in, uh, in the shape of financial assistance, first of all, to compensate all the expenditures that we suffer in order to be able to help out those people. But secondly, we need some clear mechanisms to uh, refer, to re-channel uh, those refugees that would like to continue their journey uh, to reach out another country. So those are two concrete requests that we have put forward, and obviously, we also expect the expertise uh, of the specialists that had been involved in um, managing these uh, sort of situations earlier. Um, I mean, people that know how to deal with the refugees. So far, the Republic of Moldova had never ever faced such uh, situations. So uh, those are the most important elements of assistance which we are expecting from the international community as well as from uh, our partners. Uh, agree with what the president said. There is uh, a major effort underway uh, involving countries around the world to support uh, refugees arriving from Ukraine. But first and foremost, the burden has been on neighboring countries uh, like the Republic of Moldova, uh, like Poland and others, that uh, are the immediate responders. And what we're seeing now is the international community uh, join in uh, to support uh, these countries uh, and to support uh, the refugees. And so you have the major international organizations, uh, including uh, the United Nations in particular, uh, that's bringing its expertise and resources to bear. As I mentioned a moment ago, um, President Biden asked our Congress for emer emergency uh, support uh, to include very significant humanitarian support to help uh, Ukraine deal with uh, the humanitarian consequences of this war of aggression against Ukraine, both within Ukraine itself, but also uh, in the surrounding countries that are receiving um, refugees. So uh, we're bringing our own technical expertise to bear, uh, including here in the Republic of Moldova. We'll also be bringing resources to bear to help alleviate some of the burden that uh, Moldova and, and other countries are carrying. Mikhail Ursu, TVR, Moldova. A question to the Secretary of State. Uh, which way do you uh, assess the uh, submittal by the Republic of Moldova of the application to join the European Union? And which way the United States of America can help us out in this process? Uh, for example, could we expect maybe some support in order to strengthen our energy in the, uh, independence, uh, which is a vital thing in order to have independence, true independence in our country? <laughs> 